And back in 2016, an occurrence happened that to this day blows me away, and I want to share that with you. In the afternoon, it must have been a Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't remember, but it was in, in April of 2016, and I received an email from a friend who said, she actually worked for UBS, and she said, Susan, my friend Brant, who's a filmmaker, wants to get into a refugee camp tomorrow in Greece. Can you help him? Now, to level set, for years I've been on the board of the UN High Commission for Refugees. So it wasn't so far out of left field, but several things came to mind. One, not anyone can walk into a refugee camp. It was the height of the Syrian refugee crisis. Two, it's kind of hard to get someone in, and it was only 24 hours. And three, all I kept thinking was, the last thing the world needs is another documentary film about refugees that no one will see. But I looked at the clock, and I had about 25 minutes before my next meeting. And I was like, Susan, get off the couch and do something. So I made some calls, and lo and behold, I was able to get this fella, his name's Brant Anderson, into the refugee camp the next day. Two weeks later, I learned he was not a documentary filmmaker. He was a big-budget Hollywood director and producer who had done a number of Tom Cruise films. He became enamored with the cause of refugees. At the time, there were 88 million displaced people on this planet, and we know what's happening in Ukraine, and that number's going to continue to go up. But he went on to do quite a bit more. But a month later, I get an email from another friend saying, Susan, and she, she was a consultant for the global NGO CARE, and she said, Susan, do you happen to know any filmmakers who could go spend two weeks on the Syrian border in Jordan teaching Syrian youth how to make film to tell the story of what it was like to flee their home country? Guess what? I had the fella to call. I called Brandt. Within five minutes, he said yes. But he also gathered eight other Hollywood directors to go with him. And they spent two weeks with these 14 to 16-year-olds, helping them tell their story so the world could find out. But there's more. Brandt went on to create a narrative feature called Refugee that Angelina Jolie happened to see. And for the last two years, she's been taking that on the global stage. She's an ambassador for the UN High Commission for Refugees. And lastly, that 20-minute short is going to become a big-budget Hollywood film in the next few years. So make sure you all see it. Now, I am not taking credit for all of that, but I'd like to think that I played a tiny little role, and by stuffing my preconceived notions in my purse or wherever the hell I stuck them, some magic came. So do away when you think somebody may not provide value or be helpful or help get your child into a particular school. Do away with that. You never know what you don't know.